Bay City. A coastal city with roots in trade, world-class biotechnical research companies, and many loyal sports fans. It's a typical American city, but as typical American cities go, it isn't that typical. In fact, atypical would be the appropriate word, but of course, in the atypical city, we have an atypical guy. And that is why atypical people like me exist. Who are you talking to, cockroach man? Never mind that now, flyboy. We have a criminal to stop. Right. So he's headed towards... Third Street. If we want to establish a tactical advantage, the best course of action is to... Tally ho! <sighs> or we could just wing it, like we always do. Halt, human speed bump. There is no place for potholes on the highway of justice. <laughs> I said stop. <laughs> Used to work. Fear not, flyboy. The situation is well in hand. Really? Because from here it looks like you're being dragged behind a station wagon. That's the problem with cars, flyboy. One must ponder. Would our ancestors in the day of covered wagons ever conceive of being dragged to death behind this iron chariot, this marvel of American ingenuity? I'm pretty certain this is a German car. No, I don't think they would. But today's criminal element has thought of it all. And alas, they will use every tool at their disposal to make things inconvenient for the good guys. <laughs> Looks like it's time for something drastic. Cockroach acid spit go! <laughs> So I'm the laughing stock of Bray City, huh? Well, I'm shaking the cops, I've evaded Flyboy, and even run down Cockroach Man. Nothing can stop me! You're wrong, human speed bum! Cockroach Man! <laughs> Oh no! Come on, I'll never hear the end of it if this kills you! They say that before you die, your life passes before your eyes. You see everything that's ever happened to you, the good times, the bad, and every stupid mistake you've ever made. Of course, when it becomes a nightly occurrence, you tend to skip ahead to the important part, like, how did I get myself into this mess? Rick, time to wake up. Wheels on the ground in five. So, what are you reading back there? I was reviewing your files on disarming ancient temple traps. Great thinking. But remember, planning is important, but so is adaptation. What are you going to do if you run into something you can't plan for? Come on, it's just an ancient Incan temple. This one's going to be completely by the books. I hope you're right. Not bad. Show off. Whoa. This is all wrong. What do you mean? Where are we, Rick? Peru? Right. In this tomb? Seeing as this is Peru, it should be Incan. But it's not. And that's the problem. These weapons on the walls are Aztec. And the pottery is Mayan. It's all an elaborate fake. And not a very good one. Whoever set it up clearly has no grasp on the intricacies of pre-Columbian culture. Right, which begs the important question, why? Because it's not a tomb. It's an operating room. But who is the patient? <laughs> it looks like our fake Incans have a thing for making the cosplay popsicles. I need to make a call. Don't touch that. Nicole, we're going to have to move up the rendezvous. We found something big, and I need you on site. Yes, he's here. Look, don't you think it's time we told him? Dr. Rogers, 
We meet again. Petrikov. <laughs> Please, call me Ivan, yes. So, this tomb is your doing, then? Uh, yeah, but, but the owner does pay me very well. He does not like visitors. <laughs> Dad! Rogers, Rogers, come in! Jack! Mm, I do hate to kill children. Sergey, it is Sidia. We have to fall back. Not without Jack. Uh, let's move. So, who is he? An old missing persons case from the 60s. His name is Paul Meadowbug. Goes by Cockroach Man. He fought for the good guys during WW2. Part of a team called the Constitutionals. Instrumental in taking out Nazi super science and paranormal projects. Instrumental like a well-tuned piano. Uh, not so well-tuned these days. He's sustained massive brain damage. His old noodle's been cut up and put back together. How could he survive that? Not sure there's anything he can't survive, General. The whole thing just put itself back together. Just not all in the same places. Of course, this has led to some slight issues. Amnesia. Impulsiveness. Not to mention his strange fixation with waffles. <coughs> Do you have any more syrup? How's it going, Bob? He's a tough one, that's for sure. He can lift almost 800 pounds, has a seven foot standing high jump, and can run at 35 miles per hour. Still waiting on the lab coats. He sure moves like he's got icon serum in his veins. Last I checked, I never took part in any super soldier programs. No, but your mother did. Wait, what? Whoa! Where have you been? Keeping you safe. So you've been here all this time? Where exactly is here? This is the Superhuman Response Agency. Anything alien, paranormal, or otherwise too strange for more conventional agencies to handle, we take care of it. Hence all the retired superheroes on staff. Hmm? That was Captain Helios running those tests, right? And you're Columbia. You think I wouldn't notice just because you got new uniforms? I was way into heroes as a kid. Well, you're very perceptive. So how was my dad involved in all this? Jack was a consultant. He'd look into strange technology or items of historical significance for us. So the tomb. Some escaped Nazi scientists were working in the area in the 50s. Locals have seen strange activity surrounding the temple in recent months. Director? Did you find anything? Petrikov has left the tomb. His destination? Don't know that yet. I want to know the second he lands. We'll dog this gun full till he roosts. So where do I suit up? You don't. You stay here and let us handle this. If you think I'm just going to sit here, Captain Helios said I'm a superhero. No, he said you have superpowers. You don't have the training necessary to take on an op like this, and I can't lose anyone else today. Look, just stay here in my office until we can figure this out. I need to meet with my team. But what does it mean? Cockroach man, right? Greetings, citizen. I was just attempting to decipher these strange carvings. I think they mean you're out of waffles. Hmm. Remarkable. 
It appears that your keen detective skills have cracked this mystery right open. And yet, as always, we are left with more questions than answers. Who is behind this sinister pastry heist? Right. Listen, I'm going to help you find your waffles, but first I need your help with something. Anything. I live to serve the citizens of this fair metal room. You're a superhero, right? Well, how would you like to catch a bad guy? I just need to grab a couple of things before we start. Wait here. All right, let's get to the plane. Move faster! We have a timetable to keep. Just need a small distraction. Perfect. Yeah, well, you have a lot to pay for. Are you still upset about what happened in that tomb? <laughs> well, allow me to arrange a family reunion. Yeah? Well, I have a lesson for you. What could your possible teach me? Always mind your surroundings. You're going to kill me now. Duh. I want to. I want to so bad. But I'm not going to. By now, the Superhuman Response Agency will have traced my jet to this location. They'll send a team to bring you in and lock you away for a long time. Maybe, with good behavior, you'll be lucky enough to get out when you're a very old man. But I'll still be there. I'm going to make it my life's mission to make sure that you never succeed at anything you attempt to do ever again. <laughs> so, the game is on you. What? No, there is no game. Dos Vidania! <laughs> Did we get him? No. No, we didn't. Rick! I thought I'd lost you. Kid did good here. Looks like he stopped enough ordnance to supply an army. Looks like he's got a knack for the family business. Let's face it, kid's not gonna quit just because his mother gives him the stink eye. You're better off putting reins on that pony than trying to keep him in the barn. I suppose we do need someone to keep an eye on Cockroach Man, but... You're not going into the field unprepared again. I could train him. I am a coach after all. And you're going to school. No going full time until after college. All right, can we go home now? All right, let's go. Cockroach man! Right here, flyboy. You're alive? You're alive! Of course I'm alive. I was wearing my seatbelt. <laughs>